roll. Okay. And then if everybody will stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Has everybody had a chance to review the agenda? If it's okay, and we want to make a motion to approve. I got, a, I got a quick question. Um, we'll I'm, get to that here in a minute. Okay. I'll second that motion. Got a motion and a second. Everyone in favor, show the voting sign. Am I supposed to vote when I'm sitting here doing this? Okay, so. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think John votes, but I didn't know if I got to or not. So, okay. Um, now is the time for public comments. Persons who wish to address the City Council regarding items on the agenda may do so at that time that the agenda item is called. Persons who wish to address the City Council regarding items not on the agenda and that are under the jurisdiction of the City Council may do so at this time when called upon by the Mayor or me. Comments on personal matters and matters pending in court with other outside tribunals are not permitted. Speakers are limited to three minutes. Any presentation is for information purposes only and no action will be taken. Donna. I just want to tell you how wonderful the pool is. It's so clean and so nice. And I love that you guys open it for adults. We are packed up there. You, If you don't go on time or a few minutes early, you don't get a lane in the deep end. So it's really been a good thing. And you know I love my swimming. The other thing, if you haven't looked around the square and seen our pots, they're doing good this year, even on on Madison, we did a whole different thing. I hope you look at them, I hope you appreciate it. The one in front of El, El, no, not El Charles. El Charles, I was wanting to say Hemador too, and I know that's by me. It doesn't look so good, but that has lots of trash every day, so. Thank you, Donna. Mr. Roos. Good evening, my name's Dave Roos. Uh, my wife and I live up on the north end of town. Uh, two weeks ago yesterday on Memorial Weekend, we had a fire. We were at church and uh, we were called out. And the fire department was there already going about their business. And I want to take this meeting to per personally thank the fire department and you for supporting that fire department. The job they did was truly, and I'll use my brother's words, professional. And why do I use my brother? My brother has been a fireman in Kansas City for 32 years. A third of that time he has served in arson squads. The first was the Johnson County Arson Squad, followed by the Tri-County where Johnson Windout and, and um, uh, Leavenworth chose people to appoint a squad and finally he was on the Metropolitan Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, Johnson County squad. So when he sees something, he knows what he's looking at when it comes to a fire. Bless him, he happened to be down visiting a friend that particular weekend. I called him, he came over, he walked through the fire area, he looked around and he said, Dave, you are one lucky man. He said, you have a very professional fire department in this community. I said, what do you know? I mean, how, you know, why? He says, because they came here, they knew what their job was. It looks like for me that they worked together to get the job done. They took the fire instead of blowing the stuff open into the back of the house where it would have, the back of the garage, it was in the garage, where it would have caused more problems. They went clear around the house and blew it out the front door. So the man knew what he was doing. Finally, I would like to make this comment. Um, when Marsha and I showed up, needless to say, we were somewhat disturbed. Um, but the treatment we got from your people was truly exceptional. Individually, they would come up to us and say, gee, we're sorry, put a hand on our shoulder. They don't have to do that. They're professional firemen. They came to do a job, and they did that job. Our house was saved. So I want to say thank you to you. 
I want to say thank you to your fire chief. I don't know the people that were there. I wouldn't recognize them. Uh, but I want to have the chief say thank you to those people because he knew who was there. So again, uh, thank you very much for both professional action and, prof and for caring. And please keep supporting the training that they're doing. Please, because it saved our entire house. Brother John said that with anywhere from 10 minutes to maybe as, as long as 30 minutes, that house could have gone up in complete smoke. And it didn't. So thank you very much. Thank you. And I'm glad you guys are, are safe. And good luck with all the cleaning. I know I drive by there every day. And I know you've got a lot to do. And just don't, don't do too much in this heat. Okay, well, we're doing what we have to do, and thank God for a good insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. Uh, thank you. Any other public comments this evening? Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Did you have a question? Yeah. On, uh, on page two, it shows that we spent $164 on an oak leaf flak jacket kit. Um, does anybody know what that might have been or, or what for? Is that like a set of sunglasses? And if so, no, that would it be for PD. Um, okay, I would imagine maybe it's one of their cameras. Okay, yeah, that would be the ones that their their cameras attached to. I have a, I have a question. This will probably roll Donna up, but I'm going to ask it anyway. On page 27, we paid $490.14 to TLC for flowers for around the square. Why are we spending this on flowers? I can I can answer that for you. That is a that is a fundraising thing that money has been raised by CITF in particularly for those planters. So that was not city money, that was money raised from fundraising and grants. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you. Sir, anything else on the consent agenda? Can I get a motion I'll for a, a... I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'd second my motion. Okay, I have a motion and a second. All in favor, please show the voting sign. All right, on to new business, which our new business is... Old business. Old business. Um, we had already approved it, so this is just the formal approval for the Kansas National Guard request? Correct. Just a, yeah, the formal vote so that we can have that as a record recorded Do we know vote. how many actually took advantage of those pool passes? I don't have a, a number. Okay. Maybe we can get that for our next meeting so we know how many actually took advantage of it. I make a motion that we formally approve the pool passes and usage of the recreation building for the National Guard's annual family picnic. I'll second that. Motion and a second. All in favor, please show the sign. All opposed? Okay. All right. I guess we are on to council and administrator reports. So I'll just start. I don't know where he starts, so I'm just going to start with Aaron. I don't have anything tonight. Thank you. Okay. Oh, from the gentleman that just spoke, it's nice to hear those things about our departments. Mm -hmm. It just gives us more pride in our town. We really do live in a great community. That's all I have. Yep. I really don't have anything tonight. Anything? I don't have anything either. All right. Ron? I have no report. I have nothing. <laughs> nothing to I have a couple of things. Um, had a gentleman talk to me out at the college. He is an older gentleman, walks the trails, and he fell while he was walking. And he told me, thank you, because the city guys were there, and they were right there to help him up. And he offered to buy him beer, and they said, no, we're working. <laughs> so I said, well, maybe you can get him some Gatorade. Yeah. So, But that was another nice thing, just one more thing where you know, these guys are out there, they're working, they're paying attention to what's going on, and they're helping people in the community, and I thank them all for that. Um, the other thing I have is just I want to keep it at the forefront of our meetings and of what we need to pay attention to, and that is that nursing home on North Walnut. I had two incidents last week where 
I had neighbors contact me because the nursing home is not staying secured. There are doors that are open. There are windows that are open. They take air conditioning units out and then they cover it with a piece of masonite. That's being kicked in. So there were two separate incidents last week and I know city contacted the maintenance. The maintenance guy's at Moran though, so he's not here. He's not here checking it regularly. Um, and then on Friday, there was actually a vagrant inside the nursing home. The maintenance man thought was a dead body um, and he was arrested and taken out of there. Also while in there, there was discovered a ton of blister packs of medication that were taken, it was a garbage bag full and a Rubbermaid tote full that were just in one of the rooms unsecured in an old nursing home where probably medications were just left. Um, those were taken to be destroyed. So although I know this building does not yet meet code violations as something that needs to be removed, but yet it is really a safety violation. When you've got kids in that neighborhood that could get in there, when you've got people walking the trail that can get in there, when you've got vagrants that can get in there, animals, whatever, I just think we really need to stay on that company and either they need to do something about it and take it down or secure it properly the way it should be secured, not with masonite over air conditioning holes. So I just want to make sure that that stays as a hot topic and that we're paying attention to it, whether that means codes going out there once a week and looking or, you know, police are going out there and making those daily stops to make sure everything's secured. It's just, it's just a hazard. I mean, it is a major safety hazard. So I just want to make sure that that is something that we keep on. If, if I can go back one to one thing I did forget um, the there's a gentleman that's not technically in the city that he's in the county that butts up down here by the park I know I was talking with uh, mr. Hutton about it and they're, they're using it as a as a landfill down there they're, they're people are paying to dump truckloads of trash down there and it's continuing to blow into city property um, I know that our code services has contacted, has been in contact with Mr. Weber uh, from the county, and he, I know that uh, there's, there's the state has been in here as well. Um, I know there's not much that we can do. It sounds like everybody's hands are pretty much tied. What, what can we do as far as annexing that into the city so we can have control over it? Where are you talking about? What's down by Bruner Street, off of Bruner? Yeah. 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 Large property? Yeah. Is that it's name? Yeah. been like that for years yeah. too. Well, but now they're dumping. Oh. They're, they're bringing truckloads in, dumping. I think they're paying ten dollars for a truckload. People are taking their vehicles that the city tells that they can't have parked here, and they're paying them to park them back there. And I mean, these are this is right next to our park, so just something that. Yeah, we, we can look into what it would take to annex that. Um, I'm not sure how much property is over there as far as that. Other than that, or if you just want that little piece, um, I don't know. We'd have to go through that whole process and see what it would take, but we can prepare something for council. I'd, I'd like to see it just based on our parks being right there and it's starting to become a hazard for our kids. And the there. trash is going to attract the animals and you know there's basically his own little lagoons over there yeah that's so it's becoming an issue yeah and that's all that i have all right sit the only thing i have is we were um kdot talked to us today they've got they're going to have a few more trucks coming through town as far as hauling rock to get to their um, portion of the the project that they're working on um, so but that should just be two or three days this week and then that should subside so okay. other than that that's all I have I'll make a motion that uh, to adjourn the meeting okay have a motion and a second all in favor please show the voting sign all opposed? Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Went from the long